So what would be your advice for, let's say, young actors or young directors who want to break into the industry right now in a Asia? In Asia, yeah. Asian action directors. Um, I've been talking to quite a few um, directors and uh, producers since I've been here in Vietnam, actually. I've been going to some parties and visiting some people. If you're going to start in, in the business right now, I would definitely tell you, um, make sure you decide whether you want to make a movie for the Vietnamese culture. If, if it's a Vietnamese director, I would say decide if you want to make a movie for the Vietnamese culture or if you want to make a movie for international release. Decide that first of all, because a lot of, it's the same in Thailand. I've worked with people in Thailand that want to get into directing and, or, or they've even talked to me about how, what can I do with this film to make it sell more in the West. Thailand, the Thai people have a different sensibility dramatic, comedic, different sensibilities mm -hmm. than the West. So if you're trying to make a movie for both cultures, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Your first movie is going to be your calling card. Okay. So you want it to be the best you can for what you have to spend. Let's get the first product, right? Get the yeah. first one, show what you can do. I would recommend pick a movie um, with a product, um, subject matter that you un that you really understand. And if you're Vietnamese, it's going to be a Vietnamese subject matter. So I would say do an awesome, kick-ass, can I say that? <laughs> make <laughs> yes, a kick-ass local um, Vietnamese movie okay. and make the best movie you can with the budget that you have. Don't worry too much about the Western market. Mm. Make the best movie you can because if it stands out, trust me, Western directors, Western producers, they'll see what you can do. We go, I go back to Witch. Witch's first film was, um, I think he did a film called Far in Thailand, and when it came out, it was like one of the biggest grossing films ever in Thailand. It was a Thai film. It was action, which sells better okay. internationally, again, action. But um, he concentrated on making a Thai film, and so he did the best with what he had, with his, the, the right sensibilities. So that's what I would recommend if you want a, a local director. If you're going to go for the, the um, Western audience, you, you've got to really understand the Western culture, what you're going for, what the Western is like. So are you really securing yourself that you know that? Because mm -hmm. I, I was at a party last night talking to one of the very famous actors here. I wish I could remember his name. I feel guilty about that. But he was talking about, I want to start making movies for an international audience. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, the first thing I said, are you going to put international actors in it? No, no, no. It's going to be all Vietnamese actors. I said, well, is it going to be shot in English? No, no, it's going to be shot in Vietnamese. So you want to make a movie for an international audience where you want it to be all in Vietnamese with... Vietnamese act is difficult. Okay. I mean, I wish him luck, okay. but it, that's very difficult. So for Vietnamese directors who want to make a film that um, achieve success in international market, what should they do? Well, one thing I've noticed since I've been here, and actually through a couple of friends that I've met in the States in the last couple of years, and a, and a producer I've met recently, is what is going on now is you've got a lot of, say, uh, Vietnamese that are going to live in the West, going to live in England, going to live in, in America. So they they totally understand the Vietnamese culture because they are Vietnamese, but also now they've been spending time in the West, so they understand Western sensibilities and Western filmmaking. I met a director uh, by the name of Ham Tran in America a couple of years ago, and he showed me a short film that he had made, which had, um, I think it was in the top four, it was nominated in, in um, the Academy Awards for Short Film Festival, and it was a tremendous film. It was called The Anniversary, a tremendous short film by a Vietnamese filmmaker that's lived in the West. And more recently, I've met another producer who's from England. He's Vietnamese, but he's from England. His name's uh, Jason Cow, and he's planning on, he's actually in the process of produce, writing and producing some films for Vietnam right now. So if you had this new generation of filmmakers that are Vietnamese, but have been studying abroad, and then they bring their knowledge back to Vietnam, this is where I think is going to be a big success in Vietnam, because they're going to have the knowledge from the West, but they're going to have also the knowledge from the East, from Vietnam, and they will know how to work on a budget which is suitable for Vietnam. They will know how to get the best out of it because they know the country. So I think this is a very uh, positive thing for the yeah, Vietnamese. Yeah, we see that happening and, in Vietnam, actually, with a lot of overseas Vietnamese who are coming back here and, you know, making films. Definitely, definitely. I think it's helping directors like John Woo. I mean, John Woo directs fantastic films in Hong Kong. Then when he went to the West, he had limited success. And you find they go back to their, 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 their yeah. natural country because it helps them a lot. Good learning experience. Well, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you, and good luck with your future plans. Yeah, I appreciate thank it. My so pleasure. Much. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là phần uh, trình bày của Gary Daniels, là diễn viên của bộ phim hành động Truy sát Angels, công chiếu tại Việt Nam vào ngày 23 tháng 11 năm 2012. Và đến đây thì thời lượng của chương trình tôi và Việt Nam cũng sẽ được khép lại. Một lần nữa, xin cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong những chương trình kỳ sau. Hey, thank you very much, sir.